Happy February 5th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games. The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, we left Merrick to contemplate his life choices at the foot of the Tree of Seasons, and we met the character that we'll be adventuring with this week, Syl Blackbolt, a skunk light seeker. Syl, uh, let's see. Can pull. <clears throat> Let me pull up our character sheet here. So we looked at this yesterday, but a quick recap. Sill's got excellent strength and is uh, kind of average on everything else. Pluses and minus ones and zeros. Um, she's good at intimidating and threatening. <laughs> um, she has this mechanic, I think it was Quill also had this, where she's got a certain number of surges she can use to power different abilities. So here at level 1 she's got one surge, <clears throat> and she can use that either to create a luminous shield or a solar flare. The luminous shield gives her a bonus to defense, solar flare gives her a bonus to damage. <clears throat> We're starting with zero amber, a broadsword, and we don't have a a pet, unlike some of our other uh, introductory characters, but that is Syl. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for Syl and us today. Ah, yeah, I was wondering <clears throat> if this was the guard who, I'll put this here, who uh, was guarding Korra, and that looks like Korra. So, let's see. Um, Princess Cora refuses to allow you to escort her downstairs. Your superior, Captain Flint Clawthorn, warned you that Cora might sneak out. And there, there is a, um, there's an icon here. There's a hidden treasure. <clears throat> so we can turn to our tables. And we'll roll a ten-sided die and see what we found out here in the hallway. One. A meal ration. Okay. Um, back to Sill. <clears throat> meal ration. It's a strange, <clears throat> strange thing to find in the hallway, I suppose, but um, I guess we won't say no to free food. So, let's see. One, we're going to recall our orders. Two, confirm proof of Cora's escape. And three, return to the captain. So, still here is smarter, I think, than Cora uh, made her out, expected her to be. Let's see. <clears throat> recall your orders. You, you were only ordered to inform Princess Cora of her mother's desire to have her attend a dress fitting. You could insist that she accompany you, but you cannot force the princess. Captain Clawthorne is tired of the royal guards acting as babysitters to the queen's family. <laughs> she suspected Cora would try to sneak out today, but didn't seem to care enough to stop it. In fact, they bump into each other. Uh, we know later on, and, and in fact does seem not too um, concerned. As much as you may desire to ensure the princess is safe, you are told not to intervene. You've only recently taken this position and can't risk disobeying the order. Fair enough. To confirm proof of Korra's escape, roll d20 plus intellect. Our intellect is minus one. Um... And nothing really applies here as bonuses, so 7, 8. Uh, if you have Waiting Guard noted down from earlier, we do not. I think Cora convinced, uh, <clears throat> convinced the guard just to leave. Wow, you'd get a plus 4 bonus if you did. Um, okay, we 7 minus 1 is 6. You hear typical noises from the room. It sounds like she's getting ready. You watch her door, but you don't see her leave. At one point, you notice that the noises have stopped. You knock on her door, but there is no answer. 
The door remains locked from the inside. <clears throat> she left at some point. You have your suspicions, but you can't be sure. Okay. Return to the captain. D20 plus wisdom. Our wisdom is also minus one. Uh, that's a 10-sided. I just rolled a 10-sided when I should have rolled a 20. Should we re-roll that? Yes. We're going to re-roll that one. D20 uh, minus 1. For 13. That's the better. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so rewind. We rolled a 14 <laughs> minus 1 is a 13. You watch, uh, and this is the good. Re this is the uh, good result. Eleven or more. You watch her door, but don't see her leave. You listen closely and hear metal scraping on stone. You believe that to be her sword. From this, you can be confident that Cora is escaping from her window. Escaping. That's a strange word. I don't think she's imprisoned in here. It is hard to believe due to the height. But there is no doubt. She never left her door. You can bring this information back to the captain. You receive a reward of two amber. We'll just mark that down now. Otherwise, I will forget. Amber. We're up from zero to two. <clears throat> okay. Return to the captain. D20 plus wisdom. Seven. <laughs> There's our seven. <clears throat> Minus one is six. Oh, boy. That's, <clears throat> that's the worst result here. Today's your first day on duty. You still haven't been given a tour of Crown Spire Castle. Its large size <clears throat> and many rooms make it difficult to navigate. Oh. <clears throat> Hopefully you can return to Captain Clawthorn faster than it took to find Cora's bedchamber. The captain will not be pleased if you make her wait too long. And we got the worst result here possible, so we got lost. Take a minus two penalty... penalty on your rolls on the next page. <clears throat> we'll note that down. Minus two all rolls on uh, February 6th. <clears throat> okay. I am really enjoying how the character stories uh, intertwine in these introductory weeks. I hope that can somehow continue. Uh, after we choose a character next week, uh, which is going to be challenging, I think, um, to choose one of these. But um, that is it uh, for now. We'll say goodbye for today and, uh, and continue our adventure with Syl tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.